My Lord, let me take you to the recent remarks made by the president on Monday during the same conference here of the judges in Entebbe. He said that judges should restrain themselves from giving bail to suspects who have committed capital offenses. What could be your take about this? Um, I think he was uh, cautioning that uh, we should be mindful as judicial officers about the, um, the perception among the people about what we do. For instance, uh, when he talks of um, a person who is charged with the murder, murder is a very serious matter. And uh, if a question of uh, granting bail came and uh, it was so easily granted, then I think he was saying that may not be understood by the people. And as a result, they may resort to other means. We are seeing the state might trying to influence the activities of the judiciary. He did not say, I don't want you to hear, I don't want you to grant any more bail, no. He was saying there is a problem he has identified, and I think he took the opportunity now that the judiciary was here to share that problem with the, with, the, with, the, with the judiciary. And he repeated that question of a judge exercising, or a judicial officer exercising his dis discretion many times. That is not the kind of language of somebody who is trying to influence or to dictate to how, as to how a judicial officers should perform. Uh, are you going to open the law yard for, for the Uganda Law Society? For sure, it is a new lawyer for this country. Uh, it, will, it will be opened. I will open it. I have no doubt about that. My Lord, this is coming at a time when there are reports that the Uganda Law Society is likely to go to court and challenge the manner in which you are appointed, which they say it did not follow the due process. Well, if they want to go to court to challenge, I have no problem with anybody going to court to challenge. But as far as I'm concerned, there is nothing to, to stop me from uh, presiding over the opening of the new lawyer. There's also a question of uh, Shodri Singh, who is expected to retire anytime soon. So there is also a court case challenging his appointment. So will he get the retirement benefits entitled to any judge? Those are some of the details that could be addressed, and I don't want to involve myself into discussing matters that are before a court in a manner that is likely to infringe on the independence of the individual judges that may be handling it. That is the crux of the matter. Could the current ongoing conference of the judges also trying to tackle the issue of the gap where the country for some good time has not had a substantive chief justice in place, maybe in trying to see if they can push the executive to come up with a final decision on who should be the next chief justice. The question of uh, filling the position of a chief justice is a matter between the Judicial Service Commission and the appointing authority. As far as I'm aware, the process is, is ongoing. And uh, for that matter, I would just leave at it at that. And uh, I'm sure, you know, it will soon be resolved. Thank you for your time. Thank you. I appreciate Very it. Very good. Thank you. Love.